my god, oh my god. It is so high. Help me somebody, please. <laughs> I'm frightened to death. Glass floor. <laughs> what for? What for? Why did I choose this cabin with glass floor? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let me go. Please, please, please. <laughs> Hi guys, can you guess where am I today? Have a look. <laughs> it's the highest, the biggest in Europe. Ferris wheel in Moscow, 140 meters height. And I want to thank you for being with me. Thanks a lot for your attention. And thank you so much for your donation. You helped me to develop my channel and to shoot a good videos for you from all points of Moscow, even from the sky. Be with me. Hmm, Hare Krishna, my dear viewers. And uh, now you have a chance to see a uh, Hindu in Moscow. Uh, did I tell you that uh, Russia is a multicultural and uh, multinational country and we are proud of it? <laughs> it's not a holiday today, just um, just a weekend time and uh, we are having a walk together with my friend and I hope all of you know these gates already. This is what? Yes, the exhibition of the achievements of Soviet or Russian economy. And what I want to show you, first of all, uh, Write down in comments, are scooters uh, popular in your country nowadays? Because I see scooter stations all around Moscow. There are thousands of uh, scooter stations and people, uh, people are fond of uh, riding scooters and bicycles. Mm. And what I see, this is, this is the highest ferris wheel in europe new one in moscow its height is 140 meters can you imagine it's higher than ferris wheel in london london eye because why <laughs> because russia is the first can you agree with me? On the sunny side of the street, <laughs> on the sunny side of this uh, great park, I see a great deal of tulips already. And you see this, this point, this Ferris wheel attracts my attention. Let's have a look at um, the prices. Let's find out how much does it cost to observe Moscow from the height of 140 meters. You see, I was right. A lot of people are riding the scooters and bicycles. It's really very popular nowadays in Moscow to move like this. But as to me, I prefer walking by foot yeah it's coming i mean the ferris wheel wow my dear friends have a look it's breathtaking and uh, i have a question for you would you like to go uh, together with me <laughs> of course by this ferris wheel oh guys you have to be miss marple or sherlock holmes to find the entrance to this to this wheel. <sighs> I'm going around, around, around. I don't know where is it, my God. It's enormous, it's tremendous, it's giant, really, 140 meters. Ah, <sighs> oh, yeah, of course. It's better to go through the southern gates to reach this ferris wheel.
Hell, look, it's wonderful again. The monument of uh, Soviet past. Oh, finally, I know the way. Ferris wheel, Moscow sun. <laughs> Where is it? It reminds me uh, the way to uh, in Dubai in, uh, in Dubai. Have you been there? Write down, please, in comments. <laughs> I think uh, uh, price uh, will not shock me. <laughs> normal price for normal ticket is 1,350 rubles. But you know I am not normal. That's why I bought a ticket. <sighs> Special ticket for 2,000. 300 rubles, but I'll get a cabin with a transparent floor. As a member of special ticket, I have a special bracelet and special entrance. I don't know how it's gonna be in English, but it's about love, something about love. 2,300 rubles is about $30, but I'll, I have some more privileges. Are you with me? And you see a long queue, long, long, long queue. Here, but not for me. Another privilege. No queue for this kind of cabins. Oh, this is our cabin with glass floor. <laughs> oh, great! Looks great! Ooh. <laughs> Guys, here we look! I'm really amazed! Oh my god! I love Moscow! I love Moscow! We are flying! This tree lasts for 18 minutes! 18 minutes of cool time. <laughs> oh, now you and me, uh, we know how the exhibition of the achievements of Russia and Soviet economy looks from the height. Yeah, and we are almost on the top of Ferris wheel and have a look at this television tower. The, the highest in Europe again. This is Ostankin television tower. And from this point exactly, all Russians get all the hot news about, about the world, what's happening in the world, about special military operation, about everything. This is the main, main point of, of Russia. And now, da 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 da. <laughs> I see Moscow from the height 140 meters and I see Moscow business center, Moscow city and different districts of Moscow Yes, the highest point, hallelujah Really yeah, looks fantastic. And I see the fountain, friendship of the people. Yeah, it's the announcement that it's the highest point. Great. Surprise! Imagine that I'm there on the top of this Ferris wheel and now I'm going to show you what's going on here on the land and this is the fountain, the main fountain of this exhibition, the friendship of the peoples. Let's come closer. 16 beautiful statues are symbolizing Republics of former USSR. It's a favorite place of Moscovites to have a rest. And uh, sculptors 
were inspired by real girls, real models from, uh, from all their publics, real young girls. And from here you can see that Moscow is a green city. There are a great deal of parks and I think it's Sokolniki Park maybe. Someday uh, I'm going to shoot a video about this park for you. It's really great. It's real forest uh, inside the city. Dear friends, I hope all of you have a plans to visit Moscow because Moscow is one of the most beautiful and amazing and extraordinary cities in the world and so I just can advise you to to have this experience because it's great it's great now I know how Moscow looks <laughs> in details and my dear viewers I, I wanted to uh, ask you is it interesting for you to watch a video about new buildings of Moscow because this sphere of life is really increasing even increasing uh, under the sanctions if you want me to shoot a video about buildings now you see it on the horizon somewhere so write down in comments exhibition of the achievements of Soviet economy is a place for the best place for meeting of peoples of different ages and different occupations. And, and I see uh, there are a lot of people today walking around. And of course, people of different nations are here. And if somebody tell you the Russians are poor, unhappy, the Russians are starving and suffering. Don't believe it's lie. Russian people are very, very happy. <sighs> this 18 minutes have passed immediately. And I'm thinking about maybe maybe I will buy tickets for night flight above Moscow. Hmm? What do you think? And here is my, the link to my best videos about the best uh, Russian grocery stores. I have to come out.